Nothing brightens your day quite like reviewing all the awful things that happened over the past year. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 horrible things about 2016. Lane standing in ankle deep water when the five to seven foot alligator emerged and attacked him. For this list, we're looking at the events, milestones, and tragedies that went into making 2016 the worst year in recent memory. With temperatures dropping and fears of more quakes rising, it's going to be a long and tense winter. Number 10, Brexit. What on earth is going to happen to Britain? This catchy portmanteau refers to the United Kingdom's decision to leave the European Union, a decision reached in the summer of 2016. A referendum was held to determine whether or not to remain within the EU, with 52% of citizens voting in favour of a Brexit. I think it's a good thing the country's going to get a chance to stand on its own two feet, see what we can do on its own without everyone else's help. Hardly a black and white decision. The UK's withdrawal will take years to finalise, with many estimating that a full withdrawal won't occur until March of 2019. The British people have voted to leave the European Union, and their will must be respected. With the British pound already taking a serious hit, many pundits have started to express concern over the future of the United Kingdom. With uncertainty arising around the future of European trade policy, as well as the place of the UK and the EU in the eyes of the world. The will of the British people is an instruction that must be delivered. Number 9. Earthquakes in Italy On August 24, 2016, a 6.2 magnitude earthquake rocked central Italy in what was one of the worst natural disasters of the year. The massive quake killed 299 people and left 4,500 others without homes. While the epicenter of this catastrophe was near the small municipality of Accumoli, aftershocks were felt as far off as Rome, Florence, and Bologna, hundreds of miles away. Controversy surrounding the disaster quickly emerged, as inspections of various collapsed buildings determined they had not been built in accordance with the anti-seismic law of 1974. And, as if one earthquake wasn't bad enough, another series of quakes shook central Italy in October of that same year all measuring higher than 5.5 on the Richter scale and rendering 100,000 people homeless. Number 8. The Fort McMurray Wildfire As the flames began to spread across northern Alberta, few could have predicted the destruction they would eventually cause. Beginning on the evening of May 1, 2016, a state of emergency was issued for the areas around Fort McMurray, an urban service area known for its oil production. Within days, the wildfire had spread across more than 210,000 acres, forcing thousands to evacuate their homes. Lord, keep us safe. Get us out of Fort McMurray in one piece. The fire was finally declared under control on July 5th, 65 days after the first warnings were issued. The most expensive disaster in Canadian history, with damage estimates coming close to $3.58 billion, it remains a miracle that there were no direct fatalities connected to the blaze. So my biggest concern right now is really figuring out what we do next. Number seven, the Orlando Pulse nightclub shooting. Oh my God, they're all shooting back and forth. An innocent night out turned deadly when 29-year-old Omar Mateen murdered 49 people and injured 53 others at a gay nightclub in Orlando, Florida on June 12, 2016. The situation ended after local police breached the interior of the club three hours after the shooting began, killing Mateen and rescuing several hostages. Though Mateen pledged allegiance to ISIL in a 911 call, this incident is considered both a terrorist attack and a hate crime, carrying the infamous distinction of being the worst attack on American soil since 9-11 and the deadliest mass shooting perpetrated by a single person in U.S. history. There are more than a, a list of names. There are people who loved and were loved. There are people with families and friends and dreams. In November 2016, the city of Orlando revealed their intention to purchase the club for $2.25 million, with plans to turn it into a memorial. Number 6. Zika Not even mosquitoes could be trusted in 2016. The antagonists behind the 2015-16 Zika outbreak in the Americas Mosquitoes spread disease by biting the exposed skin of unsuspecting individuals. While those infected with Zika will often have mild to no symptoms, it mustn't be underestimated. 
Pregnant women who contract the disease can pass it to their children, causing serious birth defects. While Zika vaccines were finally being tested on humans by the end of 2016, none had yet been confirmed as an effective prevention method. So, avoiding mosquito bites is still the best way to avoid infection. However, if you think you're safe because you live in a mosquito-free environment, beware. The Zika virus can be passed from one person to another through unprotected sex. So I think you have to, to worry, but keep calm and just try to, to live with it. Number five, police-involved shootings of civilians. I said it died! Convict, send that 2016 was yet another year in which hundreds of civilians, primarily in the U.S., were shot and killed by police officers. Then he turns around, faces the officer, and puts his hands up, and the officer continues to shoot him until he goes down to the ground. While these types of incidents have occurred for decades, the fatal police shootings of Michael Brown and John Crawford III in 2014 sparked outrage, protests, riots, and the Black Lives Matter movement. The world watched as video footage of Alton Sterling and Philando Castile's police-involved deaths in July 2016 went viral, for example. As debates on how to properly address the issue continue, uncertain feelings towards local law enforcement increase. Suggestions on how to tackle the issue have included mandating officers to wear body cameras. However, this has not prevented almost 900 people from being killed in 2016, according to the Washington Post. Number four, ISIS. <laughs> ISIS, which stands for the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, is a terrorist organization responsible for war crimes, ethnic cleansing, and various terror attacks across the globe. The main goal of the group is to form a Sunni Islamic State, one led by a supreme leader. While the group has been around since 1999, it's their actions in recent years that have caused panic outrage and fear in the hearts and minds of people the world over. In 2016 alone, ISIS has been responsible for thousands of deaths, from bombings in Istanbul, Brussels, Nice, and Kabul, to a knife attack in a Minnesota mall and many more incidents. This organization perpetrated crimes in dozens of countries in 2016. The first one they said was a suicide car bomb, and it exploded on the vehicles that are just behind us. There were a number of soldiers just running in the street. Number three, the European migrant crisis continues. The Italian government said that without more help from the EU, it could no longer afford to fund it. Between January 2015 and March 2016, over one million people journeyed across the Mediterranean Sea from countries like Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan in order to escape the various wars and persecutions occurring there. While many have crossed the sea with relative safety, Others have not been so lucky. In 2015, almost 4,000 people died while attempting the trip. The majority of the migrants hail from Syria, with many seeking asylum from their country's civil war, one that's already claimed the lives of approximately 400,000 people, according to the United Nations and Arab League envoy to Syria. Many European countries like Germany have graciously opened their borders to the incoming refugees, but as their citizens openly criticize the EU's management of the situation, the crisis continues. Many of the German people are afraid what will happen with us in Germany. Number two, the U.S. presidential election campaign. I am officially running for president of the United States. If you feel like you've been watching coverage of this presidential election for years, you wouldn't exactly be wrong. Ted Cruz announced his candidacy for the Republican Party nomination on March 23, 2015, a whopping 596 days before Election Day. Today, I am announcing that I'm running for President of the United States. The race to become the 45th Commander-in-Chief had many wondering when and if it would ever end. With the eventual battle between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton becoming a heated one, littered with bizarre moments from both parties, with one candidate under investigation by the FBI and the other making controversial comments that attracted massive media attention. I would bring back waterboarding, and I'd bring back a hell of a lot worse than waterboarding. The protests, riots, and other incidents that ultimately followed Trump's election on November 8th highlighted how divided the United States really are. 
Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some dishonorable mentions. Well, there's no question it was a lenient sentence. Uh, he was facing up to 14 years. Prosecutors asked for six years. He had asked for four months. The judge gave him six months. Police used pepper spray and rubber bullets to disperse them. You got hit? Josh. My youngest would tell me, Mom, it's yellow and it's a filmy, gross, foamy thing, and it would smell like open sewer. But we were being told we're still getting used to the new system. It's safe. It's okay. Number one, all the celebrity deaths. <laughs> With each passing year, the world bids farewell to many of its most beloved celebrities. Yet in 2016, the list of those lost carries a weight that feels somewhat disproportionate in relation to other years. This is ground control to Major Tom. Beginning with the passing of iconic glam rocker David Bowie in January, the year has at times felt like one never-ending funeral. With other well-known celebrities like Alan Rickman, Muhammad Ali and Prince passing away in the ensuing months. I don't want to one time see you laughing, babe. Some, like 22-year-old singer Christina Grimmy, died under tragic circumstances. I came in like the wrecking ball. While others, like Leonard Cohen, passed away peacefully at the age of 82. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What's more, we also lost several influential journalists and politicians in 2016 making the year that much tougher to face. It's been a very bumpy and satisfying road. That's uh, exactly right. Many of the well-known faces lost in 2016 were giants in their field, and they will not soon be forgotten. Would you like to see? Yeah. Your faith was strong, but you needed proof. If we're all going to be so happy, how can your eyes look like they're going to cry? Because grown-ups are silly. Sometimes they cry when they're happy. I was worried that I maybe it was too subtle. Yeah, that's your problem, too subtle. <laughs> I'm on the couch, I'm really getting into it, and uh, she comes into the room. I'm sorry, sir. Is this going to take long? Because I was hoping to buy some slacks this afternoon. Hallelujah. 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 My stand's gone. There's a big, wonderful world out there for you. It belongs to you. It's exciting and stimulating. That's what we call the miracle, man. And I don't have to convince nobody now that I am great. They all know it because they're paying two hundred and fifty dollars for a seat. Into the hole. Gets up to how he shoots, he scores. Fernandez left field. It's deep. It is good. Wizkid. What's your name, Chanko, Chirpov? Ensign Chekhov, Pavel Andreev. Is this what life is out here? It's a trap! All the way.